Father John Castenholz, and I'm the uh, recently retired uh, treasurer of St. Norbert Abbey. My mother was uh, from Green Bay, so uh, the uh, uh, Norbertines were not unfamiliar to me, and I thought, and I was interested at the same time in liturgy. And so I thought, uh, this looks like a pretty good match. Mm -hmm. So that's how I got involved in the, with the Norbertines. And after a few visits, I uh, decided to join. So I went through the first year of theology in Milwaukee Seminary, and then I joined the uh, Norbertines. Wow. The idea that we can get together and and uh, study together and, and work together and play together uh, agreed with me. And uh, at the same time, some of my classmates were just chafing at the bit, uh, waiting to be ordained so they could get out into a parish and deal by themselves, uh, live sometimes basically alone and uh, uh, have all the uh, uh, rights of uh, any uh, individual person for owning property and uh, uh, having a car and all of that kind of thing. And uh, whereas in the seminary, we were restricted. We couldn't have a car. We couldn't leave the property without permission. Yeah. And uh, so, but I didn't mind that community atmosphere. So I thought, well, I'd like to join a community, I think. And uh, a community would uh, have to be a teaching community. And uh, so I poured through the manuals that were advertising various communities. And around the same time, uh, a Norbertine friend of one of my classmates used to come down to the seminary in Milwaukee to visit and uh, got acquainted with him. Well, I would uh, suggest that they uh, uh, think about their, their desire for a community living situation rather than a, solely, a, a solo situation. And uh, that would be a main distinction, I think, between uh, religious life and, uh, and uh, diocesan life. Uh, also the idea of uh, uh, being able to, um, uh, if you're looking at a liturgical community, the uh, praying of the office every day, the singing of the office actually, uh, would be a, a draw for anyone who's interested in liturgical life. Uh, enjoyed, I got into uh, clock repair uh, for basically antique wind-up clocks and then I got uh, into building clocks with uh, uh, electronic mechanisms and uh, so I have a few of those that I gave away to different people and uh, then uh, I also have uh, uh, love for birds, and I have two little parrots right now yet. One of them is 25 years old, and uh, it's a, a, a breed, a cockatiel, that uh, the lifespan is normally 15 to 20 years in captivity, but uh, I'm lucky enough to have Koori around for even longer than that. 